Today we are going to puzzle what this crop picture means from Czechoslovakia in 2018. It looks like a wire coil or two wire coils with an aluminum disc spinning over it like that. Maybe a magnet, so I don't know what they are. So we're going to make a model to try to figure out what this means. So what I've done here, I've taken this what's called a bifiller coil, which is two strands. And they're hooked up in series. You can see the wiring here. Everybody knows what a bifiller coil hooked up in series is. It has capacitance. Two times 400 turns a 0.5 millimeter wire. Put this little plastic thing there. And we'll put a sheet of aluminium 100 wide and 3 millimeter thick. And just turn on some wall power and watch it go up in the air. Now that's standard lens law levitation. The disc does not spin. So the question is, how do I make it spin? I could try to put current to it. It's very complicated. Finally, I figured here's how you do it. You just take this a little thinner sheet of aluminum, about half millimeter, and you put two little permanent magnets, one north and one south pole up over the disc. I just think this has never been done before. Now watch this. When I turn the power on, watch this. Now we're going to do a few more controls. We're going to have the aluminium plate of the bifiller coil. We'll put both magnets pointing north up and see if it spins. Nope. Just sits there. Now we've taken both magnets off sitting over here and see if it spins. Nope. It just sits there. Now it's another very interesting control. We've replaced our two-stranded bifiller coil with a standard monofiller coil. Same size, 800 turns, half millimeter wire, and this has no capacitance. We're putting the same little aluminum rotor on top of it with north and south magnets. Now this is the same coil, same magnetic field, but no AC electric field. Let's see what happens. It doesn't spin. Now you remember only the bifiller coil worked two stranded. Now here's a monofiller coil with an iron in the center. We're going to put the rotor over it again like this. Aluminium with two NS magnets and we're going to see if it lifts up. Nope. Here now finally we have a four stranded quadrifiller coil wired in series. We'll put the washer and the magnets over it. One north and one south and a piece of aluminium. It also spins, but not as well as the bicycle. Here we have one of the four stranded quadrifiller coil where the wires are all twisted around one another. And once again, it spins with AC power. But very weakly. Not as good as the bicycle. Today, just to summarize, we've studied this bifiller wire coil with 2 times 400 turns of 0.50 millimeter PI coated copper wire. It has a red and a black lead here and another red and a black lead here. When you wire it in series and put this aluminium plate, half millimeter times 100, with two small 20 millimeter neo magnets over it, red north, blue south sticking up spins very rapidly with a 240 volt AC power supply just from the mains. And that looks a lot like this crop picture from Czechoslovakia in 2118. We have the two coil, the bifiller wire coil here, two of them, like wire coils, two of them, bifiller, two of them, a disc spinning over it with some magnets or something spinning fast. We've actually put two magnets in this case and the crop picture shows three. But there might be a way to resolve this if we study the problem further. So to my knowledge, this is a new discovery in physics, and we'll see where it leads, especially in terms of UFO propulsion. Thank you very much to the stars with hard work. When I turn the power on, watch this. Next, let's do a few more experiments with our bifiller coil. We're going to have four magnets rather than two, two red anode on the top, two blue S on the bottom, and we're going to see how that spins instead of having just two magnets as before. So with a bifiller coil, if we put four magnets at 90 degree angles from one another, two N and two S, turn the power. And 
He goes anti-clockwise. Then still with a pi filler coil. If we have four magnets arranged 90 degree angles NS NS, let's see what happens. Won't well, turn. Bring back just two magnets, one N and one S. Just to summarize all of our results, I can clearly get spin effects and lens levitation. This thin aluminium disc with north and south magnets on each side, 20 millimeter, half millimeter thick aluminium, by using this bifiller coil, two times 400 turns, and there's a 50 millimeter wooden former inside. However, I couldn't get effects with these pancake bifiller coils. 1,000 or 800 turns with no pet former inside and their magnetic fields are different than this so maybe that's the reason, the likely reason. And we're trying to mimic this crop picture here or understand it which shows two coils at the bottom and something spinning and rising up. Now we've made a little bit of progress here but I think we still have a long way to go and we'll just continue on our journey. Thank you very much.